Cape too. Blanche at St. John's has a new home. The agency, which has been providing vital services to children and families for close to 140 years, has moved into their new $14 million headquarters at the campus on Grand Rapids North Side. News H. Joe Lafergi has more on what, how the building will help with the mission. Amazing space for our kids um, and our team. It looks like your typical office space, but D.A. Blodgett St. John's president and CEO Mary Mullet says the difference is in the details. Take the design of family visit spaces where parents who've lost custody of their children can spend supervised visiting time with them. Our family visit rooms are really set up to be able to be used by those kids and those families um, in a way that creates dignity and respect for that parent. We view from an outside room via camera, so the parents know the cameras are rolling. However, we're not um, back stuck in the old days of a one-way glass mirror looking into a room or um, having glass on a door that we're going to peer through. The new building also features a history lesson. Both D.A. Blodgett and St. John's Home were founded in 1887, originally to serve orphan children with foster care and other services. The two agencies merged in 2010. There's a whole timeline of some of the major events are highlighted. And over that time, their mission expanded to meet additional needs. This building is that. It's meeting new needs. It's setting us up for the next chapter of an organization that has been in our community for a long, long time. The new 43,000 square foot facility brings for the first time a number of the organization's services under one roof. There's another advantage to the move. Energy efficiency and tech upgrades are expected to save D.A. Blodgett St. John some $2 million over the next two decades. We have uh, energy efficiency everywhere in this building. Um, we've really thought about um, each section of the building and what needs heating and cooled. That's going to save us dollars. And the doors have opened without a mortgage. The place has already paid off thanks to a community that saw the need and opened their checkbooks. For more on the history of the organizations and the mission, check out our story at woodtv.com. In Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, News 8.